Hello everybody, it's Xbox Gamer Dad White here with my helper, Hank, Hank the Elk. He's in the background back there doing his normal stuff. We have another episode of Xboxing for the entire family here. And uh, notice I've got my gaming laptop out along with my Xbox running at the same time here because we are going to be just demoing a new feature and showing you how to get it set up where you can stream your content on your PC or laptop to your Xbox and have it display on your TV. Not only that, but you'll also be able to play your games on your PC with your controller that's connected to your Xbox. To show you that this one is connected to my Xbox right now, you can see it moving around. So that's how we know it's connected to the Xbox and not the PC. Plus, it's an Elite controller, so we know it that does not have Bluetooth, so it will not connect to the laptop. But this new feature will allow you to stream your content and play your games on your PC or laptop and use your controller through your Xbox to control your PC or laptop games or other content. So there's a couple of things you have to do. Your laptop setup is really easy. It's got to be a Windows 10 system, fully up to date with the latest patches and everything. And the most hardest thing to do is to actually have it powered on and connected to the same network as your, as your Xbox. That's as, as difficult as that part is. The X part box part is pretty simple also. So it's nothing really hard to do. What we got to do is we got to go get an app off the store called the wireless display and we will go search for it. Yeah, I got a hot spot on my TV there. So you have to excuse that. I'm trying to get some better light here. So we do a search for wireless. Okay, and as you look, the suggestion bar up on top has already brought it up. So this is what it looks like. Wireless display. And you'll see it there in the corner. So we'll click on it. So if you'll want to install it, you'll notice I've already installed it. So it says launch. Okay, so once you've got it installed, Go ahead and launch it. And this is what's going to come up. Some important things here to notice is the little text right here. Toggle between uh, mouse and keyboard and gamepad mode. You have to simultaneously hit the menu button and the view button. So these two buttons, these two buttons right here. Now what they mean by mouse and keyboard is you cannot use your mouse and keyboard on your Xbox to play the games. What it does is put your controller in mouse and keyboard mode to emulate mouse movements on your laptop. And then gamepad mode is it uses the standard X, A, B, Y, the left, right bumpers, triggers, and all that. Okay, now that that's running, what you have to do now is go to your laptop. See if we can get it down here. So you can see this. You wanna press Windows key and the P key. And then it's going to bring up how you want your screen to be displayed. Um, what it's going to do is turn your TV into a second monitor. And if you've ever used your laptop for to be connected to a projector or anything like that, especially at work, you know how this works. So what you want to do is come down here where it says connect to wireless display. And click on it. It will give you an entire list 
of your wireless displays. There's my Xbox. I have a Roku stream stick, which I could stream through the Roku to a TV, but you can't play unless you have a controller connected to your uh, laptop. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is click on the Xbox. And what you will see is it will sync up and actually be displaying on both the TV and the laptop. So here we are. Let me get a little bigger view so we can see stuff. All right. This might be a little tough to see. The mouse is in the center. You can see the pointer moving around. Um, important check mark to notice in the laptop side is this one right here. It's defaulted to the usually not checked. Whoops, try that again. This little check mark right here. This is actually on the laptop. You want to make sure that that is checked. So if you look at the laptop, screen. We'll zoom in. You'll see the thing. That allows you to have input control for your laptop using the mouse and keyboard. That's how you get the gamepad controls. Okay. A little more screen real estate on that big TV. Now, something else up here, and this is actually on the laptop also, but I'm going to show it on the TV because it's showing up better. Is this little section right here at the top? You'll see it says disconnect, some other information. If we actually look at it, so that's how you would disconnect. The little gearbox is how do you want the information to be optimized for. So right now it's optimized for gaming. But you can optimize it for work or watching videos. Work is more like your, your uh, PowerPoint presentations. Gaming will allow you to optimize it to use your gamepad and so forth. So, we will now show you that we can actually play a game. So, we will run down. I'm actually going to do this on the thing instead of using the, my laptop. So, we're going to actually start up a game. Now, you can use Stream or any of the game systems you want. Um, to show you this works with all the games that are downloaded. Minecraft works good, I've noticed, but if you ever do anything unusual in it, sometimes it gets a little glitchy. It doesn't seem to be quite as well optimized, but I'm also running the beta version on Windows. So I'm in part of the beta program for that. I wouldn't quite hold that against the Minecraft because I don't have the full uh, production version, so mine might be a little glitchy. I am going to run Forza Horizon. Now, that's a fairly large program. It takes a while to load, so we'll let this load up. And once it loads up, we'll do a little bit of gameplay. So I'll see you in just a minute when it gets loaded up. All right, everybody. Now that's all finished loading up, we're going to show you this. We're going to do a little bit of driving. Oh, I need to switch my trigger. So you can see the...
So you remember, Forza is a pretty good sized game, so it, it's got a little bit of lag ish, a little bit of screen uh, jitter since we are streaming this wirelessly. Uh, the Xbox is, is wired in, but you'll notice you got some pretty good uh, response time on this. Of course, this is the PC version, so it's asking for strange things. But to show you that this is really uh, being played on the laptop, I'm going to go ahead and hit the disconnect and you'll that's at the top of the screen and show you. So here we are. Now I've got my controller and the PC you can see over there. So I'm going to hit my home button, go to it. And yes, we are back on the Xbox. Now some troubleshooting tips here. I've had a few weird things when I was testing this out where if I jumped out, jumped back in, sometimes some things weren't working correctly. The easiest thing to do is to restart the wireless display. So hit your menu button, go down to quit, quit it so that way it's not running anymore. Hit launch, relaunch it, and it will, things will work just fine. So there you are, streaming your PC or laptop through your network to your Xbox One to be displayed on your Xbox One. Lots of possibilities, movies, things like that. So have fun with it, try it out, and uh, have a good time.